Yo, what's going on everyone? This is SLC. We are back on the roof. We are back with the roof series. So how is everyone doing? Hopefully you guys are doing well. Today I wanna make this video to talk about the way that manifestation works. It's not the sense that, oh, what is my output? Oh, what are my goal settings? What are my X, Y, and Z? What it is, is putting into latent terms the inputs you're putting into the things that you want, right? So versus, oh, I need to, let's say, to get in shape, right? I need to do an X amount of reps. I need to do a Y amount of dieting. I need to do a Z amount of walking, whatever the case may be. Instead of thinking of that as the input, the input is constantly reminding you of yourself of what your aspirations are. By constantly reminding yourself of what your aspirations are, what the subconscious mind does is gears itself towards those aspirations. And the way that the electricity works, if any of you know a lot of my content, it's uh, the most unrelatable yet honest content on the internet right now. The reason why my content is so important is because I am spreading a message of not only to manifest anything that you want, however, to go beyond and exceed all expectations and if that's the case the answer is sheer volume I'm gonna say it over and over again multiple times the answer is sheer volume whatever your aspirations are constantly remind yourself of it and the subconscious mind what the electricity does it, it sparks literal neurogenesis neuroplasticity the electricity will rewire the neurons in your brain that then make it seem, oh, the things that I want are obtainable. Then because of hedonic adaptation, once you actually achieve and accomplish and obtain the things that you aspire to want, you're like, oh, this is no big deal because manifestation and the inputs are the process. I'm gonna say it again. Manifestation and the inputs are the process. The quote unquote end destination is the process. Let that process.